Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2019 on Windows 11. So it's very easy. Let's begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here in type Microsoft SQL Server 2019. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible, Microsoft.com. Click on it. Now here in you can see click on downloads here on reaching downloads you can see different versions for SQL Server are visible so we will focus on the following two developer and express so you can see it is a free edition both of them are free this is for development and test database in a non-production environment and this is for basically development in production environment so we will go for the following click on download now to download it so the download started it's an installer you can see 6 MB only so the download completed double click on it and minimize this now you can see it is asking for the installation type for SQL Server 2019 download media custom as well as basic so we will go with the basic installation click on it here in the license terms are visible you can read it and click on accept now herein you can see it will take 266 MB and it will download in the following location. If you want to change the location, you can click on browse but the default one is perfect, go for it. Click on install. Now it is installing. So guys herein you can see we have successfully installed here is the connection string is the log folder so log folder is wherein all your error messages and informational messages appear while it gets installed this is the installation media folder installation resources folder herein all the resources of SQL Server will get saved so herein guys now we will also install SSMS which is SQL Server Management Studio it is a software application that will give you a UI to work with SQL to create a database table and work on it basically used for configuring managing and administrating all the components of MS SQL so we will work on it also before that we will just click on connect now to at least connect SQL for the first time click on connect now so guys herein you can see if the following is visible that means you have successfully installed SQL Server I'll minimize this and now I'll install SSMS click on it to install now herein you can see guys it directly went to the to a new link that is the official Microsoft link wherein it went to the download page only itself and download SSMS link is visible you just need to click on it to install the SQL Server Management Studio I'll click on it now the download started it's 653 MB let's wait so guys herein you can see we have downloaded the SQL Server Management Studio exe file double click on it to install meanwhile minimize this so guys the installation started SQL Server Management Studio will get installed in the following if you want to change the location you can change from here but I'll keep the same and I'll click on install So guys you can see the setup is complete click on close now guys let us open SQL Server Management Studio go to start click here or click on start here in type SQL Server Management Studio so here it is guys it is visible here we just installed it click on open so guys here in you can see the server types the server name and authentication you just need to click on connect here so SQL Server connected successfully herein you can see this is the object explorer object explorer wherein all the databases tables will be visible when I'll click on the drop down herein you can see we are having system database only it is not having user database because we have installed for the first time so to create a database you can straight away right click and click on new database but let us 
go for a query click on new query herein you can see we will use a query to create a new database quickly let me zoom it to 150 okay now let us type the command to create a database create database database name so create database you need to always write to create a database herein you can add any name for your database let's say i'll add amit db semicolon okay now double click and select it and just click on execute here you can see execute here you can click or you can use the f5 key on keyboard i'll just click on execute I clicked it and you can see commands completed successfully. Now I'll just click on refresh here. Now you can see we have a new database. Okay, this is how you can create a database. Now I can just click on the drop down and you can see the entire schema is visible. Tables we have nothing because we just created the database. Okay, you can see you can right click and straight away create a new table from here. So if you want to create a new table or a new database or work on all these, work on the clauses in SQL Server, the operators and other stuff. You can refer the link in the description of this video wherein I have provided the complete tutorial. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio on Windows 11. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.